Let's go over lead code question number 1768, merge strings alternatively. Now the question says, you are given two strings, word one and two. Merge the strings by adding letters in alternating order, starting with word one. If string is longer than the other, append the additional letter onto the end of merge strings. So this will be our edge case. Now let's get our example. So if we were to look at our example, we have word one and word two. So what we have to do is we just have to alternatively add each letter. So starting with the first one, our output will be something like we start with first character of word one, which is A, and then we go to word two, get the first character, and we go back to word one, and then it's word two and then C and R. So that would be our result. But this happened to be the case that we didn't have to append additional letters onto the end of the merge string because they had the same length. But what if it was the other case? And that's represented by example two and three. So let's just go over example two. Our output will be, we start with first character of word one, which is A, and then we go to word two, P, B, and Q. Since word one has length of two, and word 2 has length of 4, we kind of stop alternating after the Q, right? But what we do is we just bring the rest of the characters and then just add it here. So that will be just RS. So the question itself is really straightforward. First, we alternate between two words. The thing is that you have to start with word 1. Second, if any leftovers, what we have to do is append the rest to the end of the new word. So this is it for our solution. Um, give it a go and come back to the solution later. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. Now let's go over our solution. And our solution is going to have a time complexity of O of N and space complexity of O of N plus M. And the reason is because we have to merge our two strings, right? Which is our given input. So if we were to combine the length of the two, it would be n plus n. So our input will have a size of n where it represents length of word one and m where it represents length of word two. So for our result, we have to combine those two and that's why we get space complexity of O of n plus m. Now let's start coding our solution. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a variable named output and this will be our result and let's just return this right now and i'll use a while loop for this solution and let's declare an index which is going to be equal to zero let's create our while loop and this is going to iterate as long as length of the shorter word so well how do we get the length of the shorter word so what we're going to do is we're going to use math.max and pass in our word one dot length and pass in our word to that length. Actually, this should be min, not max. So you might be asking, why are we iterating until the length of the shorter word? Well, the reason is because, first of all, if we were to keep iterating, there wouldn't be any characters left over for the shorter string. And when it is the case that when we have extra strings that doesn't match in length, what we have to do is we just have to append it to the end. So that's the reason why. So we're going to loop until we have the same length or we have characters in both word one and two. And after we're done with that, we're just going to append it to the end of our result, which is our output variable. So in our while loop, we are going to append both of our characters, starting with word one and then word two to our output. What we'll do is output plus equals word one at index i and get the character for word 2 index i and this should be replaced with i okay that looks good and we increment by one each time so that we can get to the next character if you were to look at our input or example one you can see that we have our result we have a p b q cr okay so it looks good right here we are not done yet we have to account for our edge cases where we have different length of words. So when we have a different length, we what we have to do is we have to append the remaining elements to our output variable. So how can we do that? So what we can do is we can just use output plus equals 
and get the remaining elements by using slice method. So we'll do word one dot slice and it's going to slice starting at index i. So if we were to have any elements, it will cut that out and then add it to output. And now we need the same thing for our word two. So we'll do the same thing, but just for word two. And as you can see, we have our result. This is actually it for our result. And if you want it, you can just get rid of this and then just do word to at index i just like this but it's, it's pretty much the same thing i just prefer to keep it in two separate lines for this question there isn't much optimizations that we can do but let's try to code it a little differently using array methods now let's go over our second solution where we use array methods to solve our problem just to make things more interesting so first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert my word one into a array so I do that using split. This should be word one. And as you can see, you can see that my first word became an array with all the characters in it. On this array, I'm going to use reduce method. So I'm going to have my output and my current value. My output is going to be a empty string, just like before, just like our solution one. Now let's just return our output here. And for now it's empty string because we haven't added anything to our accumulator because we haven't added anything to our accumulator which is represented by the variable output now let's start adding our characters so what we can do is we can do output plus equals and current value because our current value represents each character from word one and now we need to be able to add our characters from word two so how are we gonna do that well we're going to do that by passing in an index and let's do the same thing output plus equals it'll be word at index i it should be word two now it looks okay for now we were able to handle our case where the length are the same but this one actually didn't work we weren't able to add the rest of the string to our result and this one is just looking really weird we're adding undefined to our result so where did that come from now let's just console a few things if I were to just console log word at index, word two at index i, you can see that it's giving me undefined for the last input. So let's just all comment the rest out for now. You can see that we are getting p and q, which we have for word two, and we are getting undefined because there aren't any characters at index two and three and that's the reason why we are getting undefined so in order to avoid this we can actually use a different method called character at if i were to just console log word two dot character at index i you can see that we're getting the same thing p and q but instead of undefined it's giving us a empty string now this would work because if you are appending empty string to our output we are just essentially adding nothing so instead of doing word at index i we're going to do word to at use the method character at and give it the index. So you can see that now our first problem is solved where we were able to handle edge case for this output three and our output one should look good too. But now our problem is our output two. So let's all comment these two. So why do we have only A, P, B, and Q? Well, the reason is because well, our word one happened to be the case that it was the shorter length. So that means that our reduce function or reduce method is going to run only two times, a, b, length of times, which is two, right? So we were able to handle combining a and p, b and q, but the rest of the elements, we were not able to append it to the end. So how can we handle that case? Well, we can do that by simply just adding the rest of the characters into our final output, which is going to be returned. So what we do is plus word two dot slice. So just like before, just like our previous solution, we cut everything off and then just add it. But what do we have to pass in for our index? Well, the index is going to be represented by word one dot length. And as you can see, we have our result, but let's just actually go over this part one more time. So after we are done running this whole reduce function, there is an edge case where if it happened to be the case that our word one was shorter, we won't be able to append all the characters for our word two if it is longer than word one. So we handle that by adding this 
one line where we slice our word to at index word one dot length. So we know that the length of our shorter string, which is word one is two. And we pass in that length as our index and get the rest of the string that we were not able to append. And finally append it to the end when we are done re running reduce and just combine those two and return it as our result. And if you were to uncomment all the inputs, you can see that we got our final result here. So just to go over the code really quickly, we converted our word one into an array and use reduce. We appended to our result, which is represented by our output, which is technically our accumulator, which started off as empty string. And we had to use the method character at index i because if you were to just use simple bracket index, that would give us undefined for characters that doesn't exist but instead we want empty strings and we finally return our output but we are actually not done yet if it was the case that our word one was shorter than our word two we have to append the rest of the word two by using slice and we slice starting at word one dot length because we were able to merge it onto that length but we weren't able to go any further. So we do slice at word one line length and then add the rest of the characters that we were able to append in the reduce method. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks.